Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have almost done with the texturing of this particular exhibition stall. So let's continue few of the things which I just left out. So let's just go over here and let's texture the book. Let's go into the material editor. Let's go into the material editor and let's assign the texture to this particular books over here so let's take a V-ray material so let's take a V-ray material let's go into this Let's go into diffuse bitmap and let's call a uh, texture over here. So let's just take any texture over here for now. Select so this again, take a medium material can just assign some bitmaps so select this let's give a UEW map if you want to unwrap it you can definitely unwrap it so I'll just go over here I'll just set it as a box convert to poly Select this, select this, and let's name it as <coughs> pages. So I'll slightly give a bit of yellowish color. <coughs> so let's just Again, take one more V-ray material. Let's go into the bitmap. Let's assign the <coughs> go into this. Give a UEW map. Set it as a box. Increase the height. Convert to poly. select the polygons let's give a material so first we'll just make this and we'll just give a color so select the polygons go into the material and just give pages over here same way, select this, again go into the material editor, let's take a V-ray material and let's go into the diffuse, go into the bitmap, let's assign this, take a UVW map, set it as a box, Convert to editable poly, select the polygons, select the polygons. Right. So once you are done with this, what I can do over here is like, I can just duplicate this stuff. So let's just copy all of this, shift and drag, we 
shuffle it over here. So if you want, I can just shift the second one onto the top and push this down. So we can do some changes like this if required. So let's select this. So press shift and I'll just drag it down and let's rotate it to 90 degree over here. Now what I can do over here is like we can just make a copy of it. So let's just duplicate it and let's not make it much similar. We can just keep it a bit less that looks good over here. So we can do some stuff like this. Now select this all let's delete this the same way we'll just take a copy of it shift and drag push it up it inside so slightly and rotate it that's it so can do such stuff over here. Let's save the file. Now, let's go over here. Let's select this tray. Let's again go into the material editor. I'll just take a VRAM material and just assign a color. Slightly give a bit of reflection. So let's assign a bit of reflection to it. select this let's go to the top and let's just assign a color so the same color will be assigning for this also I have just taken a bit of a darker color for this you can go into this view image file you can just go over here and I'll just open up a reference over here alright we almost done now select this lights so select this all Go into the material, take a V-ray material. Uh, I'm sorry, let's take a V-ray light material and let's assign a light material for this. What I can do over here for all of this is like if you want to enhance it more, I can just go over here. Let's put one swift loop over here. So select this edges, ring it, control and click on the polygons, and let's give the gold shader for the edges. So 
So you can just assign it. Looks good. And all the so I'll just delete it and I'll just duplicate it. Looks better now. So we can just set up a camera. I'll just unhide all. So I haven't set up a camera yet. But if we are doing any kind of stuff, I'll just hide it from here. We'll set up a camera. So I'll go over here. from this view and we can assign a camera over here so we can set up a video physical camera so we can just go over here and let's set up a physical camera Let's make this view as perspective. So you can just go into this render setup and let's set it to full HD. Okay, that's full HD already. So so like this uh, all right. We can reduce the shutter speed to eight over here. That's it. And let's render and see once how it looks like. So we already assigned a camera. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.